What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike, and this high school basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company Perfect to cater your next team event. In Compton, it's senior night as the Tar Babes pay tribute to a special group who brought them their first CIF championship in over 40 years, and they're hoping will bring them their first Moore League championship in almost a decade. Tar Babes showing off some improved play against the zone, and how bad do you want it? Remember to only fire your ray gun in self-defense. Rayshon Scott, number five, saying, I'm ready to play tonight. Javante Jackson in on the action. This is what Compton wants. Buckets at the 10. They don't want to jack up long-range shots. They want this, too. Seven and a half seconds that looks like poly coach Shelton Diggs' exact nightmare with three attempts right at the 10. Sophomore Daryl Polk and the junior Zafir Williams trying to battle Polly back into it, but certainly the Tar Babes control the tempo of the game in the first half. And with this flush by Javante Jackson, they are going to go into the locker room 32-27 with the five-point lead. Looked like it was going to be more of the same in the second half. A lot of easy offensive rebounds and putbacks for Scott and Javante Jackson, but the duff dime to Harrison Bonner is going to kick off this poly run. They take a 16-4 stretch, including this three by Jeremiah Sattler, who saddles up and gives them the big lead of five points. Jackrabbits would go up 49-42 to early in the fourth quarter. You're thinking maybe this is business as usual. Compton gives Polly a game. Jackrabbits out-execute the Tar Babes down the stretch and go on to win. However, the Ray Gun fully loaded for the fourth quarter. And he was an absolute one-man show on the defensive and offensive end in the fourth. He personally had an 11-0 run as part of a 16-0 Compton run that takes the Tar Babes from down seven to in control of this game, and it was through plays like that, the Spider-Man block. But look at the way Compton moves the ball and passes through the zone. Four guys touching the ball, this is not what we're used to seeing. Normally they'd be settling, jacking up long shots here. Instead, they said they watched film until 20 minutes before the game started, and it really showed off, because this was the best execution we've seen from Compton against the zone and down the stretch. Of course, they still have the go-to play, throw it up and let Ray go get it and put it back. Unfortunately uh, for Compton fans, Javante Jackson's best block of the night is right there, blocking the camera from Chris Barnes' nice dunk. He says, we strong, though. These guys fired up. This will be their first more league title since 2008 when DeMar DeRozan graduated. He's in the All-Star game and sealed with a slam. The exclamation point from the Ray Gun, who is more like a Tommy Gun on the windmill, as he just went off for the Tar Babes tonight, would not let them lose, especially in that fourth quarter. And this 66-54 Compton win will give them a share of their first Moore League title since 2008. Big time. All they have to do is get through 0-11 Wilson on Thursday to sew that up. We'd like to thank our newest sponsor, Long Beach Transit. Their route number one now stops at Cal State Dominguez Hills, the South Bay Pavilion, and the StubHub Center, home of your LA Galaxy. We expect both these teams to be in the Open Division. That will be announced on Friday, and the playoff brackets will be out on Sunday, so still a lot of basketball to come in the city. You know you got to keep it right here at GazetteSports.com and the Press-Telegram.